Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pumps and Hoses for Farming Simulator 22. My name is Simulation for the Nation, and in today's video, we're going to be looking through with an early access preview of all of the mods, all the machinery, and all of the buildings that come with this fantastic DLC from Creative Mesh. It is due out on all platforms on September the 27th, just next Tuesday coming, and Giants have very kindly given me an early copy just to have a bit of a review through. So we're going to split this up. This episode is going to be a short video, just uh, quickly recapping everything. And then we're going to go into more of the specifics for the next couple of videos around how we use each individual area. So it would be at the BGAs, for example, or the slurry separation through to the machines themselves. There. So look out for those videos. If you are new and you haven't done so yet, do hit subscribe for more so you can keep up to date with those. We'll also be bringing out shorts as well just to really go over this in full detail. But today, what I want to do is have a quick look around it. And you'll see it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the thing that sticks out to me the most about this whole DLC is that you can really scale this if you want to go small, medium, or large. And that can be said for the uh, pumping of slurry, for the spreading of slurry, for the digest day, and for the storage of slurry as well. So we're really going to get into that in a bit more detail. But first of all, as we have a look around here, uh, we're going to see, just look at the detail on all of the machines that we have here. Everything is just sublime. It's created by Creative Mesh, as I mentioned there. And the detail and the integration with all of the other um, uh, scripts that you may use there, or the in-game operation, is absolutely sensational uh, a couple of different things that we're going to point out early on it is compatible with manual attacher and gps as you come to expect there all of the tools as you can see come up to the front here do require you to stick them all on there which is really cool the integration of the hoses as well the physics behind it works very very well from the short time i've played with it more uh, better than i ever anticipated if i'm being very honest with you but it is very interesting indeed uh, the way that everything couples up is fantastic there and that it's very clear gives you a lot of prompts whilst you're using it as well to boot uh, as we look around the placeables here you'll see you've got your uh slurries uh this is your separator so it separates the hard uh, muck from any of the slurry and we'll tip it into there now this is effectively the generator that goes with the uh, the bga uh this is what converts the, your your methane and your energy into electricity here uh, and the bj itself is this big unit here the way that this integration works as well we're going to show you what that looks like how you place everything but it's just seamless it really really is and you've got your giant big feed and plant here which is absolutely huge and this is what i'm referring to this is the scale that you can really ramp up to if you want if you want something a bit smaller you've got a smaller little version working behind us there everything's doing exactly the same job but just on a much much larger scale uh, you'll see here as well we have our slurry lagoons we've got lots of different uh, compressors and pumps here the likes of which we're going to really have a bit of a, a better look through now actually uh, but yeah i just wanted to show you all the placeable units first so we come around the side here this is your slurry tank as well this needs to be just put next to your slurry lagoon needs to go near either your bga or your cattle shed depending upon what you've got in mind uh, and that will work seamlessly from there uh, as we move over to here as well they've really thought about how you can uh, feed your bga unit there this for example is a a, a, a silo really that you can dump straight into so you know, reverse your trailers in there and dump straight into there and it will feed it up and in of course this is just what we're all used to here this is going to be your automatic feeder and you'll be able to load up with your wheel loader from your silage pit which you have over there uh, and in it goes and off it works and then all you need to do is make sure that everything is turned on see right now my in bottom right corner there i've turned on my visibility you can see that it is still processing silage uh, and working through there at a nice rate indeed you can also go on into your production chains where you will see that everything is integrated so you've got all of the different units here. we've got them all turned on as it stands right now um we have got the 250 kilowatt plant we've got the two different fermenters there as well we've got the congeneration plant the fermenter right now uh what we're going to do is uh, we don't have these turned on yet, but let's turn that one on for silage. And we'll see how that goes as well. And obviously, the reason why you need to have your slurry lagoons is because it will be generating digestate. And that's what you need to get rid of. So we will get onto that. But let's go and have a very quick look at all of them. So we're going to move on over the store and have a look at this. Don't worry about this. We'll see more about this in the live stream that's coming up later on today. Uh, where we'll be really unpacking all uh, this trailer load of, of silage. Uh, so we split this down a little bit where we can. We have got uh, a compressor, front-mounted uh, uh, compressor here. Everything is by shooting, as you can well see. You need your compressor because you need to be able to clear out your lines at the end of your uh, use or your operation, really. So this is an air compressor that will allow you to do that, clear out the pump, clear out all the lines, push all the slurry out. Hose reels, you're going to need these to carry around your hoses. They have, depend upon the size, they have different capacities. And we'll, we'll get into that in a bit more detail soon. But that means, effectively... You can only put x amount of meters of uh, pipe on there so you've got to be careful and, and identify which ones you have uh, and make sure you buy in the right uh, capacity reels 
Uh, and this is a double again. This has two different lengths on there, but allows you to really crack on there. And the way that they integrate, we'll go into more detail as we get through into the actual operation in the second video. But that is really key. Uh, moving along, this is where we get into pumps and tanks. So on the back end here, you've got two very simple but very stunning uh, models. On the left is a tiny little water pump. Now, this little water pump is cool. This will allow you to pump water into your... Uh, any of these tanks now the reason why we have to have water on some of these is that it aids the the maintenance of the, the the pumps over time so if you're pumping slurry if you put a bit of water in there it makes it a little bit more fluid allows it all to pump through there so that is why we want water and we'll touch on that in a bit more detail very shortly uh, behind it here is just your standard pump now this will connect by pto obviously and you're going to be able to pump from let's say your lagoon or from uh, from your trailer here through the pipes and out into the field. Uh, just stick that onto a tractor, stick it away, and off it will go. Pay particular attention though to all of the detail around all the pipes. I just think this looks absolutely sublime. It really does. If you want to scale it up, we can do that to this big boy. Now this is much the same as the, the uh, PTO mounted pump. So it's exactly the same thing, but it does also have a larger water tank on there. So you can fill it with water to allow you to, to aid and, and supply more water through the pumps there as well. Also on some of these, you can fill it with either slurry or with uh, water. Now, if you fill it with slurry, it does allow you to have that bit of a reserve. So you can have a continuous uh, supply of slurry coming through. So if you suddenly realize that this is empty now, we haven't quite got the tractor and trailer to fill it up yet. This will have a little bit more range to allow you to have that a little bit more continuous roll. Uh, but yeah, again, the attention to detail across here is just incredible there. Even right down to the little uh, switches and the levers that you need to operate this, device, this machine with. And it just looks huge really do need a big bit of equipment on here to pull it it's absolutely incredible this is the pu 300 and on the front again another this is a, your your first reel here this is a, a a buffer tank really much the same as that one it's a, it allows you to put a bit of slurry into there just have that continual pumping out there this will go you connect into here and then you'll be able to go straight down on into your whatever you are uh, dribble bar you're pulling behind you and as we move on we're going to move into the lagoons here now and these do look rather incredible uh, this little guy here, let's start the front here on this tanker. This is the PW121. This will lower down so you can actually stick your water pump in the back here. And I think you can get three on here quite nicely, actually. So that's really awesome. Just line up that way and it will automatically lock in. Uh, you can lower this down, wheel them in, and then lift it up again. It works very well indeed. On the top there, you've got two separate different tanks. You can put water and slurry into here as well. So again, it will allow you to aid the uh, condition of the pump. This is, after all, a pumping station here. As you can see on this side, look at all the pumps and the valves you got into there. So this has slurry lagoon into it. So again, you get that continuous supply, but also water in there to aid the longevity of the pump itself. Stick it onto a tractor on the front there, and you are good to go. Uh, this is fully configurable, so you can uh, either have the back on here or not. If you choose not to, you can get rid of them as well. But a very, really awesome bit of kit. Once more, we'll see all this working in video number two. So stay tuned for that one over the course of the weekend. And then this is probably more of what we're used to as a slurry lagoon. Drop it on the side of the field there, fill it up, and you can uh, you can you can keep going from there. But this is a pumping station as well, so you want to have a tractor on the front of here. Stick it onto the PTO, and you can fill this full. Now you'll see if we jump on into the top, there's two different compartments. That one for slurry, and again this one for water. It allows you to really maintain the and, and ensure the longevity of your pumping station there. But once again, very simple, lovely little. Uh, little scheme lovely design i just love all the galvanized steel on this i think it all looks very very good indeed really i'm impressed with everything that we see on here uh obviously this has all been designed by creative mesh there which includes wopsters uh a work on here as well as a little bit from model like i do believe and you can see where the quality is coming from wopster who obviously did the um the manure hose mod for fs19 and you can see where that's all coming through but this the integration is just absolutely seamless it's really really good and ultimately, at the end of it all, you're going to be using your dribble bars. Now, you can't pick these up without having this guy on the front. This guy is your Shooter SH5100. It's the tool carrier, really. You're going to stick this onto your three-point linkage. And you'll see on the, this side, this will pick up any of the uh, tools that you see here. Uh, it allows you, you'll see this little archway here allows the dribble bar, uh, the connection for the hose to go straight through each of those. And it works very very well really do like this indeed you've got the three different lenses here this is the large one which folds over as well i think it's a 12 meters to working with uh, but this connects straight up seamlessly you have to unfold this plate down you have to unfold this plate down here so it can get underneath but once you do that it will connect 
seamlessly without any questions again all configured and integrated with manual touch so you can all expect to see that work without any hitches and then once you've got this all hooked up you drive to the field where you'll need to make sure you connect your hoses now these are a pallet of hose hoses they come in different capacities as i say uh they have different masses depending upon the size but you can really go by integers of 100 meters there from one to 500 meters so depending upon the size of the reel that you use you're really gonna have no um no worries about what that looks like and how that fits onto the front of these simply drive up with your uh front load with your tractor uh and the reel carrier all you need to do is drive it with your tractor and the the hose reel attached and that will give you a prompt on which buttons to press and you are away and that's it simply that's everything you, you need to know and all the tools that you're gonna have like i say stay tuned for episode number two where we will be going through exactly how you use these machines to spread slurry episode number three we're gonna look into how to set the vga properly so thank you very much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed leave your comments down below if you haven't yet pre-ordered this and you would like to for PC, pc links are in the description you can use my channel to do so and we shall see you all in the next one